How we doing everybody? Welcome back to the workbench. Today, we're doing something a little different. Check this out. Diecast Masters 124th scale Cat 336 excavator. Uh, this is uh, used, I guess I should say. I should point that out. I bought this second hand from a guy. He bought it for his son. His son ended up playing with it once for, I don't know, not a lot of time, supposedly. And then it just sat in the guy's garage and never got touched. So I made him an offer that I thought was fair for, you know, or what I was willing to pay to check this thing out. And he agreed, like, get it out of my garage. And so here it is, my 124 scale excavator. Uh, rubber tracks, plastic, it is not Diecast Masters high end or higher end uh, construction excavator. Um, it's all plastic, doors don't open. Does have lights, does have sound, does have full range of motion. Um, it's just plasticky. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I've never done the RC construction equipment thing. Um, decided I wanted to check it out and see what I thought. And for what I paid for this thing, it's, I mean, it's worth a shot. Um, I don't know how cap capable it'll be uh, out in the dirt or, you know, tiny rocks, pea gravel, whatever. We'll, we'll find that out at some point, but... Just wanted to have you guys take a look. The controller is pretty basic, kind of like a video game console kind of a deal. You've got these for running your tracks forward and reverse. Um, and then these are all multi-function. So there's up, you know, like the boom and the bucket and then the other boom and the rotation of the cab or the whole main body, I guess, whatever. And then lights and sounds, yada, yada, yada. Um, it does come with this little battery. I'm not sure if it's a LiPo. I think it's a LiPo. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I can't, uh, I don't have my glasses and I cannot read that. But it's a battery. So let's go ahead and power this thing up and uh, check it out. So the battery cover just pulls off here from here, the little lock knob. Plug that in. It is a big battery tray, so I'm guessing you could maybe get a bigger battery or maybe change the connector. Put something else in it. Um, I didn't get an owner's manual. He didn't have that anymore. I think you can find most of the, I mean, I just played around until I figured out what things did, but you can probably find that kind of stuff online if you want to, but power on there, blinking light, probably trying to bind. And power on there. The sounds are on instantly. This triangle button does the sounds and the lights you can see these little lights right here so i just shut that off for right now but uh so yeah we'll do boom up i believe is this that's kind of cool and then the other boom up is this so boom down boom down bucket and then spin the deal and then tracks just one forward and reverse and then the other forward and reverse and then you hold them both and things moving
So pretty cool. We'll have to get it out in the dirt and see uh, see what all it can do. But let's turn the uh, let's turn the sound kit on. I think I don't know. I think it's cool that it makes. Uh, it's got the sounds and the lights. Obviously, we've we've covered that, but it makes like the track squeak type stuff like when you're driving i don't know i think that's kind of cool actually but so just basic engine noise Hear those little squeaks. So it does have like I don't know, when you hit the limits of stuff, you hear that click in. I don't know if it's got like, if it's just the plastic or what it is, but you kinda gotta learn the limits of all the bucket and all the, it can only go so far. So when you get close to the cylinder, I guess, just stop. And then I don't know if it'll go full 360, like indefinitely. We'll check that out. Probably get a binding click at some point. Yeah, there we go. I did go all the way around at least once, right? So there's one full rotation. And a half-ish, one and a half turns. That's, I mean, still, that's plenty for Playing in the dirt, I suppose. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these things. Didn't get a good shot of the lights. You can see them there on the boom, kind of right, right here. Clean your tracks out. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's pretty cool. I don't know how good it'll do out, in, you know, maybe in a sandbox, which I don't know if I'd want to get sand all up in it, but maybe a dirt pile, maybe some small fine pea gravel or river rock. I don't know how tough this thing actually is, but uh, yeah, I wanted to try uh, RC construction stuff out and the price was right. So yeah, we're doing it. So thanks for watching. This is the Diecast Masters 124th scale Cat 336 excavator. Uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like, subscribe to the channel. We're doing some fun things. Uh, you guys are just along for the ride. I appreciate you watching. Um, I try to reply to all of your comments, uh, questions. I don't know, I like this hobby. Uh, Thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.